Hello everyone and welcome to my blog. Today I'm gonna show you how to cook a Filipino Machado. As you can see, I just bought this Instapot last night at Walmart and it cost me $79. Now I'm gonna try cooking and using this Instapot. I'm gonna cook today a beef machado. It's a Filipino stew. Since that I'm gonna use the Instapot today, all I have to do is just toss everything in the pot. All right. So I like my beef really, really tender and juicy and uh, uh, flavorful. If I already knew the procedure on how to cook a dish, so all I have to do is just do my own style. We just like toss everything right now in this Instapot because I want everything to be intact, all the flavors to be intact in one without using so much of oil. Beeps already has its natural oil, so I don't need to sauté to a separate pan to garlic and onions and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is just toss everything. To begin with, you're gonna need all of these ingredients. A chunk of beef, potato, garlic, onion, bell pepper, large black olive. You're gonna need tomato sauce and tomato paste. I'm gonna use a little bit of this beef bouillon. Red pepper is on the go, as well as black pepper. I like a lot of garlic. Alrighty, ladies and gents, let's start and rock and roll in this beef machado. All right, first thing is I'm gonna toss this beef, a bunch of beef in it. Alrighty, toss it inside the instant pot. And then next is I'm gonna put my garlic. Okay. And then I'm just gonna toss this onions. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of red pepper. And also garlic salt. And I'm gonna use two of this beef bouillon. Okay, there we go, and the fish sauce, I don't measure everything, I just kind of um, estimate, and I'm gonna put that, potatoes in it, there we go, and I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. I like chunks tomato sauce. And I'm gonna add this tomato paste. Here we go. And a cup of water. Mix a little bit. There we go. Cover the Instapot. Boom. So, all the ingredients is in there. So I'm gonna go set my Instapot. 
all the ingredients are already in the pot. The next thing to do is uh, set the timer to 35 minutes. 35 minutes cooking time and everything, as they say, will be real good and tender. So the beef in there will be tender and then it's going to be soft and juicy and all these ingredients will be in one place. I'm going to add my black olives as well as the red pepper on the top of it because I really don't like this too to be overcooked. So let's go start the timer. Beeps too. 35 minutes and then don't forget to put the cover on it make sure it's locked oh, we can hear the sound ding, 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 ding. and then this button should be on the straight position because if you put this one on the other side uh, it will actually release the pressure so be intact so it will cook so let's go wait side or to the left side so it's really up to you which one would you like left or right so let's go start and push this button so let's wait until it's cooled down and all the pressures is ready out from the pot okay so be patient because I am patient okay once the pressure is already gone so we are ready to open the sesame let's go and open the pot right now and see how it looks like i'm excited bum, 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 bum. i can hear that ding, 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 ding. oh my god oh my god that smells so good that smells so good Let's see how it looks like see that all the juice I didn't even put oil in it but look look at it I didn't put oil in it but you can actually see the oil the natural oil that came from the beef itself all right so let me taste it okay oh my god it's so delicious I can actually taste the sourness as well as the sweetness of the tomato sauce it's like all in there and as you can see potato is still like potato yeah it did smash potato but it's still potato all right one of my secrets is I add two Splenda in it, okay? So this is actually like to add a little bit of sweetness on your dish. So there you go, I'm gonna add that. And uh, my Instapot is actually still on the heating process. This is the best time to put my black olives. Because remember, I don't want my black olives to be like overcooked. And then I'm gonna put my red pepper. It's like a bell pepper, I mean. There you go. And then I have to saute them. Saute, saute, saute. There 
we go. And that little amount of heat actually will still gonna have a time to cook the bell pepper as well as the black olives. Okay? So there you go. That is my own style of Filipino beef machado. Let's see. Look at that. You can actually smash them with your own fork and it's so tender mm, nom, 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 nom. it's so delicious here is the finished product it's beef machado I hope my son will love this and I'm sure he is or else I'm gonna cook him <laughs> This is the best lunch ever. Fabulous, delicious, awesomeness, everything. I don't need a knife anymore to cut the beef because it's already tender. Really good. 35 minutes is just exact time to tenderize your beef. True pressure cooker, of course, true Instapot. Yummy! Mm. Alright, thank you so much guys for watching my blog today. It's been a while that I have not posted any videos because I'm so busy with my job. And if you like this show, then hit like and subscribe. See ya until next video. Bye yo!